Let's start by looking at our ESG universe. So this is a list we've created based on the ESRS framework. Um, there are about 10 high level topics here that we've identified. And there are many more underlying subtopics that we've added to our list as well. Um, but to keep things high level, um, this thing, we're gonna keep it just to the list that we've got here, but it can be expanded further. So as part of this materiality example, you can imagine that we would start with our internal stakeholders first. Um, as a way to identify some initial priorities, uh, we would solicit impact from our senior leadership team. And you can imagine that we would do this in an interactive workshop session where we would discuss each topic and potentially vote on each one of the materiality factors. We may follow up later uh, on this with employee surveys, outreach to people outside of our organization and to our external stakeholders as well. So here, Jason's brought up uh, our ESG topic detail screen. Um, so we'll kind of work through this section by section here. So for each topic, uh, you can imagine that I'll then do some uh, research and provide background context to what uh, that I will review with my leadership team during the workshop. For me, this could be involved reviewing things like ESG standards, understanding reporting requirements and best practices for each topic. Um, it could also include taking an initial look into any related work that is already being done in our organization for each one of the topic areas. So if you move down the screen here, I can see that, you know, we've identified a metric or an indicator in this case uh, that we're already tracking that could be related to this topic. Uh, we might also identify enterprise risks as well as any potential opportunities uh, or strategic objective that may also be aligned with this or relevant to this particular risk, uh, this particular topic. Uh, next, in preparation of our workshop, um, what we would do is we would set up a materiality rating scale. So we're gonna keep this simple for our, this uh, demonstration um, and, and our initial assessment. So we're gonna rate on two factors. So impact materiality and financial materiality. So impacts are kind of like, just like uh, the likelihood and impact scale on, on an enterprise risk. So we're going to rate each one of these on a five point scale. Uh, what we're gonna do then is multiply those two together and we will get a score that ranges from one to 25. Also in preparation of the workshop, I would prepare some instructions that would, I would share with my uh, stakeholders and voters to help them guide, uh, to help guide them and choose the appropriate values for each one of their ratings. So once everything is ready, I would then conduct my workshop, reviewing each topic, collecting everyone's votes. And there are multiple ways to do votes. You could use an application like ours. Um, you could also do it manually or use a third party tool. And this is an area where we think software is especially helpful. Um, for this particular example, you can imagine I've tabulated all my votes and I've used an average to set a rating of uh, uh, impact materiality of four and and also an impact uh, financial materiality of four as well. So we, we see a, our score in the top right corner is 16 in this case. I would do this for all my topic areas. So you can imagine our list of 10, uh, we, we would go through, we would do the voting and rating on each one of the 10 topics. Uh, in the end, we would have a summarized list where we could easily see what our top uh, material topics are. Those would be the ones highlighted in yellow or red with the highest scores. I might plot this into a materiality matrix, similar to one Jason showed earlier uh, during uh, in, in the PowerPoint. At this point, we could also use this prioritization to work uh, with other people in the company to understand, you know, what current practices are working, start collecting metric data, and to better understand uh, the impacts of our of all, all of our initiatives. I would also take the opportunity to conduct a risk and opportunity assessment for each one of the material topics as well. And as I mentioned before, I may engage with external stakeholders to validate our ratings and stakeholder impact in this case as well. So finally, as we kind of go through this entire process for each one of those 10, um, 10 topics, uh, we would bring it all together um, in kind of our vision, mission, and strategy. 
where we identify which, where each one of these topics relate to our objectives and initiatives. In this way, we think the ESG program act, um, would be integrated into our business plan rather than a standalone reporting activity um, at the end of uh, a particular reporting period. Um, so this was a very quick overview. I hope this gives everyone a good understanding um, of kind of our approach and what we think the best practice would be to get started with this. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Daniel.